ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಬರ್ತಿದೆ
yüksek namarlarla kendini yaydaların çellik Merhaba değerli katılımcılar, dear participants, uh, dear the head of International Relations Office. Uh, our guest is a little bit struggling with uh, her internet connection because today we have a guest, uh, in-person uh, guest from Romania. Uh, University of George Emil Palat, University of uh, Pharmacy, Science and Technology, with its earlier name, Targu Muresh. Uh, my friends is dealing with her internet connection. When it's when it is carried out, I will try to introduce her, and we will begin to. Uh, listen to her presentation.
It's okay for the computer? No, because he he lost his he collapsed power. Again. Yes. <laughs> right now I have to wait. Okay, dear participants and dear head of the office. Uh, while our uh, speaker is preparing for her presentation, uh, in this by this way, I would like to share the a short introductory video of uh, her university, George Emil Palat University, right? Yes. Uh, let's have a watch. It's a, a three minutes video, and you will like it. Universitatea din Primul Mureș, care poartă de curând numele George Emil Parade, numele unui uh, ilustru medic laureat a premiului Nobel, originar din România, yeah. are în acest moment șapte facultăți. Facultatea de Medicină. Facultatea de Medicină în limba engleză. Facultatea de Patrucie. Facultatea de medicină dentară. Facultatea de informație și inginerie. de știință și litere. Facultatea de Economie și Drept. Am fost așa că puteți învață astăzi peste 12 mii de studenți, dintre care un mare număr, aproape 800, sunt studenți internaționali care provin din peste 55 de țări. Suntem mândri că astăzi suntem o universitate europeană, deschisă la valorile europene. Suntem bucuri să, să facem un tribunal și un învățământ de calitate și credem că avem o ofertă deosebită pentru și că devină studenți ai universității noastre. Romania is a great place. It's a lovely country. So that's why I chose to stay. Thank you very much, Professor. Yes, welcome. Uh, Can we uh, go there? Here? In your place, yes. Yeah, of course. But first of all, let me introduce you to, okay. to our participants, okay. then you can go from my okay. screen. Okay. Okay, dear participants, uh, uh, by the way, Yusuf Ojam, are you, do you want to uh, give an introductory speech, deliver a speech about our speaker, yeah. or shall I just keep going? First of all, uh... about me. Okay. First of all, thank you very much uh, again. Uh, international relations of uh, these uh, presentations, uh, these uh, programs. Uh, thank you very much. And 
our guest uh, coming from Romania and uh, she uh, sharing uh, his experience with us. Uh, so I am very excited to uh, hear uh, her uh, presentations. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, Emrah Işık Hoca. Uh, this process uh, conducting uh, with uh, his uh, experience. Thank you very much again. Also, uh, I would like to thank uh, our guest professor. Uh, taxation process is very important for us, uh, especially European system and uh, Turkey system. Maybe we can uh, compare after the presentation. Uh, inshallah, the program will be very good for us. Uh, we will uh, listen. Uh, thank you very much again. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hocam. Uh, just before uh, shifting the speech to our guest, I would like to introduce her uh, to our participants. Associate Professor Mihaela Gönder, uh, she is a professor PhD at the Faculty of Economics, Law and Administrative Sciences, Department of Economics, George Emil Palade, University of Medicine, Pharmacy, Science and Technology of Tirgu Muresh University in uh, Romania. Her educational background, back, background includes postdoctoral academic uh, economic school, uh, SPDAE Romanian Academy, uh, Bucharest, uh, Bucharest, Romania, uh, between in 2011 uh, and 2013, uh, PhD in uh, economics, financial management, uh, yes. and master degree in local public administration management, uh, as the bachelor of economics in in, in University of Cusa, right in yes, Iași, yes, yes. Romania in in 1987 her work experience comprises tax consultant liberal profession judicial tax expert uh, senior advisor corporate taxes associate manager economist she's author and co-author of 11 books in this field uh, 47 university courses 29 professional research papers published in international journals, 69 publications in international conferences, volumes and proceedings, and member of seven research and development projects based on contracts, grants, and budget. She is in charge of the following academic courses, uh, such as public finance, public finance and budget, comparative fiscal policies, financial policies, monetary and financial international relations. So. Now I would like to leave my seat to our guest uh, because of the internet connection problem. Uh, she will try to give her presentation through my screen. Uh, Professor, the stage is yours. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Please Thank feel you. free to give your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So. Uh, Yes, hello everybody. I am uh, Mihaela Gender. Uh, my colleague uh, already uh, made a presentation. So today I want to uh, speak about um, corporate taxation in uh, EU and uh, OECD countries. As you understood already, uh, my field of research and my uh, field of interest is um, taxation is fiscal policy. And that's why I consider that um, taxation, it is very uh, important. So what about, uh, what about taxation and happiness? Uh, do you consider uh, it uh, does exist uh, correlation between uh, those uh, two taxation and happiness? It is good to pay taxes. It is not good to pay taxes. Uh, the answer is uh, very complex. 
uh, because the effects of any fiscal policy are not the same for everyone, for the rich, uh, for the poor, for the government. There are a lot of um, uh, complex effects. So presentation on taxation. Uh, as you see, uh, it is very important uh, how much involvement the government should have in the economy. Uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, degrees of interference by the government over the years. So um, for the most part, it is accepted that a degree of government involvement is necessary to sustain a vibrant economy. And the fiscal policy, it is a very important uh, device for the government to influence the economy. So let's, uh, let's uh, go directly to the um, uh, taxation. Let's see corporate income tax rates in Europe. Uh, as you see here, uh, there are uh, several colors. The dark uh, color uh, uh, signify a high uh, degree of taxation a high uh, rate of corporate income um, uh, tax in Europe. Uh, and uh, I figured also uh, Turkey, as you see here, Turkey is 20% for um, corporate income tax rate. It is uh, less uh, than um, average of uh, European uh, countries. So as you see this map, it is uh, very different, different colors, and every country has uh, uh, different uh, tax uh, rates. So uh, you will see uh, that in Europe, we want to harmonize uh, the uh, fiscal policy, but because the taxation is so different, it is a very hard issue. So um, comparing uh, corporate income tax uh, rate, you see Germany and France follow uh, uh, around 30%. Uh, Hungary, 9%. It is a very big difference. Ireland, 12%. And uh, Romania, I didn't uh, wrote here, but uh, Romania uh, follow uh, 16 percent. On average, uh, OECD countries currently levy a corporate income tax rate of 21-22 percent. So, um, in most European uh, countries, corporate income is taxed twice, uh, once at the entity level and once at the shareholder level. But uh, this is a very technical discussion. So, uh, for example, for dividends, Ireland's top integrated tax rate was highest among European countries, uh, more than 50%, 50%. Uh, it's 57% uh, followed by France and Denmark a lot of money, uh, very high uh, tax rate. Estonia, 20%. In Romania, is 16%. So very different. For uh, capital gains, Denmark uh, uh, follow a very high uh, tax rate, uh, 55%, France, 52%, Portugal, uh, more than 50%. Uh, and the former um, uh, communist countries like uh, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, and Romania uh, levy the lowest rates. So the biggest 55, the lowest 16 in um, uh, Romania. Very big differences. 
uh, here I gave an example, but uh, I think I will uh, let uh, this uh, this presentation uh, to give to the students. Yes, no, and they will uh, study the oh, example. Okay, it is an uh, example about uh, an Italian corporation, about profit and uh, income tax rate, and also about uh, dividends. I think students know about dividends, yes? Yeah, most of them are uh, from the Department of English, so they, they, are, they are familiar. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, here um, I have um, um, I put together uh, the European OECD countries in 2020 top integrated tax rates on corporate income in uh, these uh, countries. And uh, as you see, the average is um, for the corporate income tax rate, the average is um, almost uh, 22%. Uh, personal dividend tax rate, uh, the average is almost uh, uh, 23%. And let's see, Hungary, we can see here, uh, um, follow very low taxation, 9%, 15%, less than the average. And a lot of countries um, uh, have uh, higher uh, tax rates, as you see in uh, this uh, label. And the other countries the same situation and uh, you will see that uh, the, the formula for integrated tax rates uh, is uh, as follows you will see uh, in detail the explication in detail mm -hmm. yes how we can calculate uh, uh, these uh, this tax. So uh, the framework, the framework briefly, yes, taxation in the EU. Uh, you have to know that uh, although EU is a group of countries, 27 countries, uh, it is a union, uh, the EU does not have a direct role in um, establishing taxes or setting tax rates. Uh, national taxation is set by national government, uh, but uh, EU decisions on tax matters require um, uh, the agreement by all member governments. But uh, um, the main uh, characteristics of uh, corporate income tax in the EU are as follows. Um, they represent the responsibility of uh, each country, each, 20, each um, of uh, 27 uh, EU countries. Uh, and uh, the only rule is that uh, they should not create barriers to mobility in uh, Europe because you know the purpose of EU is uh, to increase the mobility of uh, goods, of services, of persons, and of capital in um, uh, EU across the 27 countries. So the uh, taxes should not create barriers to mobility in uh, Europe. That's why EU governments have signed up to a code of um, conduct. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things uh, to speak about. Uh, uh, for example, fight against tax evasion and avoidance. Uh, which is a very important part of uh, fiscal policy uh, in uh, EU, uh, and also non-discrimination and free mov uh, movement uh, in the common market. Uh, and, uh, moment. Uh, and of course, an omnipresent issue within the EU, European Commission, is the tax harmonization. It is very important as the 27 countries uh, 
uh, our uh, union, an economic union, and the 19 countries um, represent a uh, monetary union. They have um, a single um, currency, you know, uh, e, um, you know, um, uh, the single currency of 19 uh, countries. Uh, the name is the name of the currency yes euro. euro of course euro <laughs> yes uh and that's why you know uh, it is very important um, when you have a single currency to have a similar fiscal policy which at uh, this moment is not possible because uh, uh, as you already noticed uh all the countries in the EU have um, uh, so many different rules and many different um, uh, tax rates. So um, the European Commission tried very hard to make this uh, tax harmonization. Uh, about uh, indirect tax, I don't know if they know uh, which one are indirect tax, uh, for example, VAT. VAT, do you know VAT, excise, custom duties? No, it is uh, too technical. Yeah, it, it's a little bit technical, yes. but uh, yes. some of our students uh, have already been to European countries, so they know what, what, what does VAT. VAT, of course, because in every price we have VAT. Included, yes, yeah. included, the price Include VAT. In Turkey, in Turkey, we call it KDV. KDV, yeah. yes, KDV. So the KDV, the VAT, is a matter of uh, harmonization in the EU because the prices uh, must not be very different because of the VAT, do you understand? Yeah. To assure uh, the mobility of goods in the Union, in the European Union. But direct taxation, Mm, taxation on labor, taxation on uh, profits, uh, represents the competence of the member states. So it is very difficult to to be uh, to reach a compromise. So because the uh, freedom of the mobility of uh, the goods and services in the EU. Uh, it is possible sometimes and unfortunately uh, very often uh, the companies uh, do tax evasion and avoidance. So the tax laws of one country should not allow people to escape taxation in another uh, country. Uh, so um, the EU action plan rules on information exchange between countries in the uh, European Union. Uh, and uh, the EU pays particular attention to fair company uh, taxation. It is very uh, a subject, very complex subject. Um, the action plan for fair and effective taxation in the EU begins in June 2015. And the central focus is to ensure that profits generated in the single market are effectively taxed where the activity takes uh, a place. To understand this, uh, they must understand that uh, in uh, European Union, you can invest in any country. A Romanian can invest in France, in Germany, anywhere. And uh, the mobility of uh, capital you can put your money in the banks anywhere you want. Uh, free, you want, free. yes, free, free, free. That's why uh, European Union exists. So um, uh, sometimes the companies try to escape the harsh taxation uh, to make a lot of filials uh, in different countries, and they declare declare the profit they obtain in the lower uh, taxation jurisdiction. For example, uh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria uh, have a 10% taxation, corporate taxation, you understand? And in France, the corporate taxation rate is 30%. It is uh, easy to declare, uh, to have um, 
uh, enterprise in Bulgaria and one enterprise in France mm -hmm. and uh, to make uh, counting, do you understand? Mm -hmm a scriptic accounting uh, that you have, your profit is from Bulgaria, it's not from uh, France. Mm -hmm. And to pay in Bulgaria 10% instead of France 33%. So that's why um, European Commission is working uh, uh, for uh, this plan for fair and effective taxation in the EU. Uh, and it is very technical, you will uh, read about this, The uh, we name it BEPC, it is Base Erosion and Profit Shifting Package, it is the final OECD uh, plan. Uh, uh, it is about, uh, not about only the EU, but um, uh, with uh, the coordination of um, OECD, uh, G20 leaders, and so on. Um, they uh, already uh, start um, a plan to reduce um, um, tax avoidance uh, in uh, EU. So uh, governance criteria criteria in the EU is transparency and fair tax uh, competition. And uh, for uh, these uh, purposes, um, transparency uh, is uh, established uh, through the automatic exchange of information. Uh, what does it mean? It, it mean that, uh, means that um, uh, fiscal uh, authorities must, it is compulsory, must um, exchange information about uh, everybody, about all the companies, about all the personal uh, individual uh, investment, uh, exchange the information between the countries in order to stop the tax uh, um, avoidance. There are a lot of steps, exchange of information on a request, automatic exchange of uh, information, and so on. It is very uh, technical. Yes, I will make it briefly. Yes, I That's think. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, also, at um, uh, G20 OECD BEPS uh, level, there are some standards um, uh, to underline, like um, uh, exchange of information, as I told you bef before. Uh, it uh, means minimum standard for mandatory uh, exchange of information on taxpayer ruling, anti-abuse provision, uh, preventing, uh, preventing the artificial avoidance of permanent establishment status, and so on. It is about uh, double tax conventions. Uh, all of these um, are uh, working in the European uh, Union. And a very important uh, part of this is transfer pricing. Uh, which is very, very complex uh, because, you know, um, there are a lot of uh, big companies, uh, transnational companies, I think uh, they are also in Turkey. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's a fact of postmodern uh, economy. Politics, for you know. globalization, yeah. of course. Yes. Still in Turkey, for example, there are many investors, uh, yes. company owners. Yes. Because of cheap labor, they yes. establish their factories yes. in the far eastern countries. Yes. But now, they have factories uh, all over the world. Yes. Yeah. The same company have factories all the over the world. Economic interests are the primary. Yes. Yes, but side. how about the taxation? It is very important when uh, they are doing uh, business together, uh, the um, 
uh, factories, the different factories of the same company, multinational company, uh, usually they uh, intend to reduce uh, the uh, profit, yes, they understand, only uh, to, uh, to permit a low taxation. So that's why uh, EU established, and um, especially OECD, established uh, transfer pricing uh, rules. And other relevant standards for tax purposes. So, uh, something happens. Yeah. It's updating itself. <laughs> it will go right ahead. Right, right now, it's all right. Okay. So, the core minimum standards of good governance for tax purposes in the EU are transparency, exchange of information, and fair tax competition. It seems to be simple, but it is not simple. There are um, uh, huge uh, uh, compens, uh, huge materials, uh, uh, huge rules, a lot of information about uh, these three uh, minimum standards of good um, uh, governance for tax purposes in the EU. Okay, I will skip this. Yes, the fight against um, tax avoidance and unfair tax competition. Uh, the commission, of course, ask uh, uh, all member states to endorse this initiative in council and to give high political priority to their implementation. Okay. And I will skip this uh, very technical uh, uh, presentation. So, in the EU, the problem for a tax consultant or for companies doing business abroad. The problem is as follows, 27 different corporate tax codes. It is a huge problem. Representing different 27, 27 Yes, the, uh, 27 different procedures, 27 different rules, 27 different network of tax treaties, 27 tax codes complex. Do you know, uh, I think um, Turkey uh, has its own uh, tax code. Yes, it has a, a rule tax code. Yes, okay. fiscal, of yeah, course. Fiscal. And I think it is very complex and difficult. Yeah, you, you, you are supposed to be specialized. In, yes, in, of in, course. In and think you have to know 27 different. Yeah. Think you make business with uh, France, with Germany, with Italy, with uh, uh, I, I I thought I wanted to say Great Britain, so but no, it's, Great it's Britain. It's not enough to be specialized in a Romanian tax Yes, you, yes, uh, at we the same have. Time you're supposed yes, to be but European, that, yes, uh, European uh, Union wants to make them to be. Uh, related to be close to be harmonized mm -hmm. uh, the european union work at this problem which is a very hard problem and because of uh, these differences 27 different network uh, and taxation rules and so on uh, it is possible to have uh, tax evasion you know yeah. if the rules uh, will be uh, harmonized the tax evasion will be uh, lower. Yes, multiple tax regimes. So I think uh, these uh, dif this differences um, um, represent theoretical concerns and practical concerns. And that's why uh, the fiscal policy represents uh, a very difficult uh, problem to solve. Um, as practical concerns, 
27 different uh, tax codes uh, represent a huge cost for tax administration and for taxpayers, you know, mm -hmm. especially for small companies doing uh, business abroad because they don't permit to have, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, tax consultants and uh, uh, a lot of uh, juridical uh, consultants and so on. Oh, I think I will uh, skip this because I have uh, <laughs> 58 uh, slides. Uh, it remains unclear with, uh, whether um, unanimous agreement among the EU member states is achievable. I think it is an impossible thing to do. They haven't come to a, a mutual agreement. No, yet. no, and never they will do because um, they use, the government use this tool uh, for influence the GDP. Uh, some governments uh, prefer low taxation to attract investition. Some governments prefer high taxation to give uh, good, uh, good uh, public products to the people. Mm -hmm. You understand? So uh, they don't see the governments, the 27 governments. So it depends on their priorities. Yes, they don't see in the same way the fiscal policy. And it depends the government in every country because a uh, um, left uh, government with political left, oriented left, uh, will consider um, it's better uh, a low taxation and um, government with right oriented to the right, yes, liberal government mm -hmm. will consider uh, that it is better. Uh, yes, 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 yes. So never they will come to uh, an, agreement. an agreement. So, and with this, I will finish. The scientific literature, uh, it is centrated uh, on one question, one central question, is regulated tax harmonization or is tax competition the best solution to the awkward state of asymmetric tax rates that currently exist in the EU for creating a better business environment? Nobody can answer. Somebody consider that, that uh, tax harmonization is the best and other consider that tax competition is the best. I consider that tax competition is tax the competition. best. Yes, tax competition. So you are a liberal person. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I am a liberal person. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You are so, welcome. Moment, me... moment, moment. Because I wanted to... Uh -huh. This is... Uh, what about Erasmus? Yes. yes, this is my country. Yes, uh, our uh, county region is Mureș. Yes, it is uh, central of Romania. And we expect you here, 2,500 kilometers from Batman. Batman. Yes, this is Batman. This is Mureș. And we yeah, expect... We will, we will have a, yes, from, please. From here to, to... Please. And don't... Um, uh, please, please, happy business pay all the taxes. Yeah. Yes, do you understand? Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's a task of an ideal city yes. for a country. Yes, for a government. if government will have money, uh, all the people will be happy. Yeah, if you expect service from, uh, public service from the government. Yes, you, you should pay your at taxes. First, yeah, yes. Uh, before that, you, you have to pay. Yes, you have to yeah. pay. And uh, thank you so much you are welcome please okay. oh. have your seat no it, it's it's yours because i'm sure that some at least some of our participants will ask us some questions okay okay dear participants uh and Mr. Pojam, uh would you like to ask uh on such emotional issues to our dear speaker you know, money, money affair is an emotional issue to talk. 
Yes, uh, especially taxation. Nobody yeah. loves taxation. <laughs> or maybe everybody loves taxation. It depends. Yes. Uh, dear professor, maybe I want to ask a question relating uh, Soviet uh, Republic term. You know that. Oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know about <laughs> Soviet Republic. <laughs> Your, no, no, no. Your personal experience, especially. You live that term. And uh, now you are uh, under the European Union uh, taxation system. If you compare European Union system and uh, Soviet uh, term, uh, especially for business, uh, state and business balance, if you compare uh, in terms of taxation process, could you summarize this term if you compare? I. Uh, To yes. compare uh, two systems, yeah. you have to know both systems. I know the European system, but I don't know the Soviet system. I don't know. You You mean about Russia? Yeah. About Russia, uh, yes? Russia? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, for example, uh, you know, uh, Romania in the past, a uh, member of Warsaw Pact, and economically, uh, Soviet Uh, system mostly uh, government vehicle too much high and uh, taxation income revenues uh, there is no uh, totally uh, perspective relating the uh, taxation process therefore uh, if we move from liberal uh, economical model uh, we can put taxation process transparency rule of law Uh, I want to especially uh, if you open this term uh, for our students, for uh, our participants, maybe we can uh, learn some uh, personal experience relating uh, Soviet term taxation process oh, yeah. and uh, today, uh, especially, you know. Uh, I don't Indian understand the what Eastern countries uh, before, uh, before Cold War. Uh, After they they uh Cold War, they were under control of what Soviet. do you understand about um soviet i don't understand this term especially you know uh, communism and uh, we don't uh, use uh, this term uh, we no. don't like it <laughs> no we don't use it uh, communist, uh communist former communist countries yes 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 uh, you want to make um a comparison between uh, European uh, taxation policy and the communist, former communist taxation, yes? This is? Yes, yes. My question is right. Oh, it is far away. <laughs> it is very far away. Uh, you know, the communist economy was a close economy. Yeah. Um, we, in that time, didn't permit uh, investment to come in our country. Uh, we had the own uh, uh, economy, uh, the own domestic economy. We didn't permit the imports. Uh, so taxation was not one uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, I don't I don't know how to say uh didn't have the same um, uh, the same purpose like today today the economy is free uh it is uh, taxation is to attract investment uh to increase the uh I don't know the interest in our country uh in In that time, a taxation was uh, very neutral only to bring money to the government. And that's it. Uh, it doesn't, it didn't work like a tool. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, and now taxation is very important because, you know, uh, as uh, macroeconomic tools, any government has... Uh, the monetary policy and fiscal policy. And uh, uh, monetary policy um, belongs to the central bank. 
and fiscal policy belongs to the government. In the EU, they are different. They, uh, uh, it is not uh, permitted to influence each other. Do you understand? Yes. Um, uh, that's why we have uh, some rules uh, related to the um, uh, budgetary deficit. On, it is on, not... On the practice, it is working, for yes. example, Yes. yes, it is working. It is working. Uh, all the central banks are independent, yeah. uh, independent uh, uh, comparing with the government. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, our uh, central bank is uh, National Bank of Romania. Uh, his uh, president uh, is the governor of the bank and he is independent. The government cannot impose rules to the bank. Do you understand mm -hmm. uh, why this? Because um, uh, the government uh, uh, would like to say to say to the uh, bank to make money, <laughs> to make uh, money to uh, fulfill the budget uh, deficit, we understand. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, forbidden. Mm -hmm. So right now, the fiscal policy uh, is a separate issue and the uh, monetary policy is a separate issue. Uh, so in Romania, for example, we have a very low tax rates uh, on the work, on the um, goods, uh, on the profit, on the, I don't know, VAT, everything is very low. Oh. Yes, oh, because the government wants to attract investition, uh, foreign direct investment, uh, to come in Romania, to bring with them uh, high uh, technology, uh, to bring uh, high management, uh, to bring, I don't know, to bring uh, everything. Uh, and we are very open to the foreign uh, investment. So Romania at this uh, moment has a lot of foreign uh, companies doing business uh, in our country. Uh, also, uh, for Romanian citizens uh, using same rights? Yes, it is compulsory to use the same uh, rules, the yeah. same rules for uh, domestic people, for uh, Romanian people, uh, with the rules for uh, foreign uh, investors and uh, businesses, companies. It is compulsory because of the European Treaty. You understand? It is a European rule to have the same uh, taxation rule for uh, everybody. Uh, Romania, now the government revenue is coming from where? For example, taxation is very important. If, uh, if the uh, rate uh, is too low, how the government can uh, pick up the money there is? Oh, this is a very complex discussion uh, because um, we have also a huge uh, tax evasion. Do you understand? Mm. Tax evasion in Romania. Um, in a ranking, in a European ranking, Romania is uh, first place, second place, sometimes third place, uh, together with Bulgaria and uh, Italy at tax evasion. It is not good. Uh, and we have a lot of uh, problem with uh, uh, government uh, products, public products. Right now, in these days, um, our government announced um, austerity measures. Do you understand? Austerity mm -hmm. measures. 
because they realize they don't have enough money for paying salaries for uh, uh, governmental, for professors, for medics, for hospitals, and that's it. And they are trying to find a solution. Uh, they don't want to uh, to raise the tax rates because uh, uh, it will begin the elections. We understand, and to raise the tax measures is not popular. Mm -hmm. They prefer to ask money to the European uh, Commission. Uh, it is uh, right now a program. Uh, huge program to give money to the European members country uh, following the um, COVID uh, times. Uh, and right now our government rely on uh, this uh, program. I know it is not good, but this is the reality in Romania right now. We don't have good uh, roads, we don't have good infrastructure. You in Turkey, you have better than us. Uh, we have problems with, uh, uh, with hospitals and a lot of people prefer to go outside uh, when uh, they have uh, medical problems. And that's it. That's why uh, um, this question of... Uh, uh, of the amount of taxation, it is very important because if they will rise taxation, the tax evasion will be bigger. Do you understand? Because yeah. they don't have a good uh, informatic system. They don't have a good uh, regulation. Uh, they uh, uh, It is a big corruption. Uh, and at this moment, if they uh, increase taxation, the tax evasion will be bigger and they will have less money at the budget. Do you understand? And the, uh, the low taxation um, attracts uh, foreign investments of, uh, which bring uh, money to the Romanian budget. It is not so easy to establish um, what uh, what uh, level of taxation is the optimum level in Romania. Thank you very much, especially uh, my field, uh, international relations. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, some question uh, coming to my mind relating to taxation and nation state. A weak states and powerful states, if we put them on the desk, uh, maybe taxation rate sometimes uh, determining a uh, rate of power of the state. Yes. Especially if yes. you look at Yes, uh, indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. But uh, taxation can uh, determine the happiness of the people or vice versa. They understand in it depends how the government uh, can use and know to use taxation. It is a very powerful tool, taxation. If you don't know to use it, you will be poor as a government. If you will know to use it, you will be rich. And if you uh, know to use it, the people will elect you as a politician and vice versa. You understand? It is very important, very important taxation. Yes. And we can uh, keep in touch if you have uh, several questions, punctual questions, we can uh, speak about this. I will give uh, my... Uh, email address yes okay. yes and we will uh, be in touch uh, i uh, have uh, a very good um, uh, scientific um, article uh, with a professor of uh, from pamukkale university about taxation uh, taxation in romania and uh, turkey mm, i will uh, send you this 
uh, and who knows we can um, uh, we can work together on this uh, field yes thank you thank you and students maybe students. they want to find something I think uh, if uh, their field is uh, philology, yes, they are yeah, at the yeah, English. Uh, yes, yeah. they don't want to do business. Uh... But you can you can ask them a teasing question. Uh, hey, dear students, uh, you can ask. Are you how... there, dear students? Are you there? <laughs> Most probably. Uh, yes. Uh, if you are looking for a cheaper iPhone from Romania, <laughs> in the sense of taxation, you can ask. Uh, whatever you want to our professor, <laughs> you know, right now iPhone and the other electronic devices are, are really expensive in Turkey. Yes. Because of the currency. Yes. Yeah. So many of our our uh, students uh, from Turkey, they pay visit to uh, Georgia or northern. Oh, Iraq I understand. Find, I understand. Uh, cheaper electronic devices. Uh, I'm just joking, anyway. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> come, come in Romania and buy. Buy. They are not cheap at all. Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, if they buy from Turkey, uh, from Romania, they are uh, in Turkey. They have to pay uh, yeah, custom. To, yeah. To yes. be honest, to be, to be honest, you know, there are many Turkish, Turkish companies, you know, uh, investing in in Romania. Yes, a lot. Uh, yes, indeed. Many, many shopping malls and yes. shopping centers. Yes. I yes. Have, I have been to Bucharest, Bucharest uh, for two times, so I had the chance to to observe the Turkish transnational Turkish yes. capital. Yes. Capital, yes. 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 Uh, and we love uh, we love very much uh, the Turkish companies. Uh, a lot of Turkish companies work in Romania in uh, construction, in building, yes. engineering. Yeah. In yes, we are, a lot. We are good at good. Yes, yes, yeah. and a lot of uh, Romanian people uh, go to um, Turkish hospitals when uh, they need uh, medical uh, services. Complicated. Uh, operations right yes because yeah. uh, you are very good and our our doctors are really qualified in in very you know the, because in turkey they are supposed to deal with uh many patients uh, and the the proportion of patients uh, for for per doctor in a day is much more than uh, a thousand eu's EU, eu's average for that reason our our doctors are really qualified with their yes, in students. Romania are very qualified too, but they don't have infrastructure. They don't have yeah, we, we up to have date. Uh, infrastructure. Yes, and uh, in this field, uh, Turgumuresh, my city, yes, the the city where the university is, it is very well known for uh, the quality of medical uh, acts. Uh, my university is University of Medicine, Pharmacy, mm -hmm. Science Some. and Technology. Yeah. And it is in the core of Romania and prepare very good doctors. Yes. And, you know, Turkey also very popular for health tourism. Yes, that, uh, that's why I near, told you. Every yes. People come here yes. for hair transplantation, yes, yes. plastic surgery, yes. or some other complicated yes. operations. At, uh, you know. Private hospitals, yeah. uh, very high level private hospitals in Turkey. Uh, lucky you, <laughs> lucky you, you live yeah, in Texas, Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Mr. Professor, keep in touch. Mm -hmm. I yeah. am very happy I uh, met you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, also, uh, inshallah. The next program, yes. we can Inshallah. talk about it. Maybe we can visit to. Uh, yes, we are waiting for you. Uh, we also know that uh, in this agreement, Erasmus agreement, uh, after uh, 20 May, one of your uh, colleagues will come in Romania at our university. Uh, the name is, uh, I don't know him, the name is. Uh, 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 um, Ibrahim Firat. Do you know? Ah, yeah, I know. From, he from will come this... Uh, engineering. Yeah, yes, he will mm -hmm. come... No. 
It is not from economics because uh, he asked uh, to keep lesson at economics at management. Uh, Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim. Uh, Hal Ibrahim. Hal Ibrahim. Yeah, Hal Ibrahim Aydin. Yeah. I know him. I, I prepared his mobility. Ah, program. okay. Please come in Romania. This okay. agreement uh, works already. Yes. And we will be happy uh, to be your host. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, dear speaker. Thank you very much for your uh, very valuable and very detailed uh, knowledgeable presentation. If our uh, participants, dear students, and the head of the office, uh, Yusuf Hoca, Associate Professor Dr. Yusuf Chinar, I would like thank to thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Thank uh, you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank uh, you. It's it's our honor to to have your presentation and it's our, you know, it's your courtesy to come in this city and pay visit to this city and to give us this very valuable presentation. My presentation is uh, here on your yeah, laptop. I will, I you can give, it. yes, you can give to the to students and to Mr. Mr. Professor. Mm -hmm. For sure, yes. My Thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so I would like to say goodbye all of the participants and Mr. Uh, mm -hmm. Take care of yourself and see you next week with another presentation. And pay your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.